Jussie Smollett appears at his sentencing hearing at the Layton Criminal Court Building on March 10, 2022 in Chicago, Illinois. Brian Casella Poole, Getty. Jussie Smollett maintained his innocence during his sentencing hearing Thursday after a judge sentenced the former Empire actor to 150 days in jail for lying to police about a racist and homophobic attack that he orchestrated himself. Cook County Judge James Lynn sentenced Smollett to 30 months of felony probation, including 150 days in the county jail. Lynn denied a request to suspend Smollett's sentence and ordered he be placed in custody immediately. Smollett was also ordered to pay $120,106 in restitution to the city of Chicago. Smollett loudly declared innocence after the sentence. I am innocent. I could have said I am guilty a long time ago, Smollett shouted as sheriff's deputies led him out of the courtroom, capping an hours-long sentencing hearing. Lynn excoriated Smollett prior to delivering his sentencing decision and pronounced himself astounded by Smollett's actions given the actor's multiracial family background and history working on behalf of social justice organizations. For you now to sit here, convicted of hoaxing, hate crimes, the hypocrisy is just astounding, Lynn said. Before Lynn handed down the sentence, Smollett's defense attorney Nenye Uche asked Lynn to limit the sentence to community service. He said Smollett has lost nearly everything in his career and finances and asked that Lynn give him time to make restitution if that is part of the sentence. Witnesses for both the state and Smollett testified at Smollett's sentencing at the Cook County Courthouse. Chicago police supped. David Brown, who was called by the state, submitted a statement that was read aloud by Samuel Mendenhall, a member of the special prosecution team. In the statement, Brown, who became superintendent in April 2020 and wasn't with the city at the time of Smollett's police report, said Smollett's false report if a hate crime harmed actual victims of such crimes. Brown asked that the city be compensated for its costs, saying the cost of investigating his claim could have been spent elsewhere in the city. Jussie Smollett's grandmother, testifying for the defense, asked Lynn not to include prison time in his sentence for Smollett. I ask you, judge, not to send him to prison, Molly Smollett, 92, told the court. She later added, if you do, send me along with him, okay? Smollett's brother, Joel Smollett Jr., told the court that Smollett is not a threat to the people of Illinois. In my humble opinion he is completely Smollett's attorneys also read aloud letters from other supporters, including an organizer with Black Lives Matter, the Rainbow Push Coalition and LaTanya and Samuel Jackson that asked Lynn to consider the case's effect on Smollett's life and career and to avoid any confinement as part of his sentence. Other supporters spoke about worries that Smollett would be at risk in prison, specifically mentioning his race, sexual orientation and his family's Jewish. Smollett declined to make a statement at the hearing. His decision came after special prosecutor Dan Webb asked Lynn to include an appropriate amount of prison time when sentencing the actor for his conviction. Before the sentencing began, Lynn rejected a motion from the defense to overturn the jury's verdict on legal grounds. Judges rarely grant such motions. Smollett faced up to three years in prison for each of the five felony counts of disorderly conduct, the charge filed for lying to police, of which he was convicted. He was acquitted on a sixth count. But because Smollett does not have an extensive criminal history and the conviction is for a low-level non-violent crime, experts did not expect him to be sent to prison. Thursday's sentencing could be the final chapter in a criminal case, subject to appeal, that made international headlines when Smollett, who is black and gay, reported to police that two men wearing ski masks beat him, and hurled racial and homophobic slurs at him on a dark Chicago street and ran off. In December, Smollett was convicted in a trial that included the testimony of two brothers who told juror Smollett paid them to carry out the attack. Gave them money for the ski masks and rope, instructed them to fashion the rope into a noose. Prosecutors said he told them what racist and homophobic slurs to shout, and to yell that Smollett was in MAGA country, a reference to the campaign slogan of Donald Trump's presidential campaign. Smollett, who knew the men from his work on the television show Empire that filmed in Chicago, 
testified that he did not recognize them and did not know. They were the men attacking him. Unlike the trial, Lin agreed to let photographers and a television camera inside court for the hearing, meaning the public got to see and hear Smollett speak in court for the first time.